Do androids dream of electric sheep? I've always loved the title of that story by Philip K. Dick, and it feels ever more prescient today. Do androids dream of electric sheep? We ask ourselves this question as we increasingly grapple with a world of synthetic intelligence where more and more of our interactions are happening with algorithms that seem to exhibit some of the qualities of awareness, some of the qualities of sentience. It's the dawn of artificial intelligence. It's the dawn of a kind of intelligence explosion. And as we grapple with the philosophical issues raised by this encounter with a new kind of mysterium tremendum, a new kind of synthetic mysterium tremendum, we are having to ask deep questions about what it means to have a psyche, what it means to have an inner world, what it means to have theory of mind, what it means to have an inner psychology. And so, of course, Philip K. Dick was ahead of his time when he asked the question, do androids dream of electric sheep? You know, when Eric Davis wrote about the spiritual cyborg in his book, Technosis, he wrestled with this very same thing. We are the spiritual cyborg. We are the thing that is a hybrid of biological and non-biological intelligence. We create second skins and scaffoldings. We are increasingly merging with our tools and technologies, but now we are spawning a technology that talks back. Now we are spawning a kind of artificial personhood and we're interacting and engaging in a feedback loop with that artificial personhood. And so again, we should ask this question. We should get into a platonic conversation about what this means and where we're heading as we increasingly wonder, do androids dream of electric sheep? Do androids dream of electric sheep?